What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I didn't think that I would ever say this again, but I've got a new truck on the channel. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have broken the same little microphone thing on my camera twice now, and it's frustrating, man. I've only got one of those pieces left, so I'm hoping when I fix it this time I don't break it, or I might just leave it broke, I don't know. It's like dangling on top of the camera, and y'all can't see that, obviously, but y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I got a new truck that I'm showing you guys today. I went and picked it up uh, two weeks, almost two weeks ago now in Tallahassee, and uh, we're putting some new wheels and tires on it today. Any of my OGs on the channel remember this truck. You guys remember that I bought this truck for like $300 at Capital Cadillac where I was working before I started working at Southern Tire and we'll you know obviously dive into that story a little bit more but it's kind of cool to see the truck come full circle drove back to get the truck I was tired of not having a second truck not having a daily so I finally went and uh, bought the truck back from my dad so I have something else to drive and I've already cut my gas bill in half I mean it just saves me so much money every day driving back and forth as far as I drive to work every day so super excited to get into it with you guys today super excited I got two different sets of wheels that we're gonna try on the truck today I got some 20 inch older Tahoe style stocks and I got a set of 22 inch split sixes which I'm probably going to end up going with if the tire size that I have fits so hope you guys are uh, excited for the new truck on the channel I've got a lot of things that I want to do to it. well kind of a lot of things kind of not I kind of want to leave it stock but we'll get into it in a little bit I hope you guys are excited as excited as I am let's get this bread baby it's kind of crazy to have this truck back in my possession after two or three years of not having it. But we finally have the Saturn truck back and driving back and forth to and from work. 2,000 single cab Chevy Silverado long bed with the V6. So I'm, de I'm definitely saving some gas money these days. And I've got some uh, different wheels. I don't know if you guys remember, I put two inch drop shackles on it when I got it originally from McGoy's. Shout out to McGoy's and the team up there always taking care of me. It's got some 17s with the general grabbers that my dad had left on it with the white letters. And we're going to put some 20s on. I'm going back and forth between whether or not I want to put 20s on it or Mikey's got some 22s on his Tahoe back there so I got tires for the 22s we're gonna test fit those tomorrow but it needs tires so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off today and put some 20s on it but I want to give one one good look on the channel before I take the 17s off for good and put the 20s on it kind of showed you all a sneak peek of this truck in my last video and that video has been doing pretty good so I appreciate you guys showing so much love on that video if you guys haven't seen it, it's 2024 Denali that we just did on some JTX 28s and a McGoy's lift but we got a 2022 fifth gen up here you guys know if it's not Chevy I really do like all the Illuma duties but the fifth gens just have a special place in my heart this one came through a couple days ago it's actually got a six inch mcgoy's kit powder coated silver with the black billet accent pieces got your fox reservoir shocks front and rear and you got that beautiful mcgoy's front radius arm with the billet face plates we hooked my man up with a 26 by 14 kg1 scuffle black and milled absolutely beautiful wheel in black and milled 26 14 with the black lug nuts i can't remember if we did we did the black billet caps on this one but no floaters this time so black billet caps come standard or billet caps in general come standard on all of the 26 inch 28 and 30 inch kg ones now and then floaters are an upgrade and then we did a 37 14 50 26 fury mt1 fury's got the best tire in the bigger sizes 24 26 28 30 and then obviously kg1 jtx you know all your big names i'm definitely a big fan of kg ones i got the kg ones without the center caps on my truck over here but wanted to show some love to my ram people in the comments i know you guys are always wanting to see more ram content 26 14 kg1 scuffle black and milled 37 14 50 20 26 Fury MT1 on the 2022 fifth gen. That beautiful gray color, color matched front end with the black accents fits very well with the black and milled wheels. Got a little glossy black side step on the side. It's a beautiful truck. I hope my Ram people enjoy the uh, the Ram content for the day as we're hopping into the new build on the channel over here. I did get the new wheels put on it yesterday. I'm trying to get some time to test fit the 22s on it today, but let me know what you guys think. I'm missing one center cap. I got one coming, but we're going to be test fitting some 22s within the next day or so when I get time up here at the shop. I really do like the way the 20s, the 20s look on the truck definitely better than the 17s but i think the chrome 22s that are on mikey's tahoe back here are just going to give it such a beautiful look that I'm, I'm really excited to see so stay tuned before the end of the video we're going to see the 22s on the single cab so we put the 22s on the single cab two days ago put new brake pads all the way around took it home last night with the four wheels and tires and then the four extra tires in the back shaking like crazy in the back so i don't know if it's the way that the wheels are hubbed up in the back which doesn't really make any sense to me or if i just need to replace the rotors because all i did was pads in the rear but the rotors look every time i go to talk he hits the gun 
<laughs> it's got to be the brakes though. So I'm taking the wheels off to see if the wheels are my shake problem, but Mikey's got some 22s that I really want to see if they look good on this truck lowered because I got a different set of tires in the bed. So we're going to put the 17s back on tonight to see if it's the wheels and tires that are shaking. But I definitely think the 22s might look the best on the truck, but I just want to test fit one to see first. They look really good, but they don't fit. The back of the wheel touches the brakes. Bro, get off that f***ing camera, dude! Hey, nobody! I tell you what, I got a Kia. I will trade no, you straight no, up for the absolutely truck. Not. Got AC. absolutely not. Absolutely got AC. not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No Absolutely only. not. New absolutely tires. Not. New battery. It's not happening. Under 100,000. It's not happening. Why? No. Because I want my truck. That's why. It hadn't stopped raining in like three days. But I took the truck home last night. We put the 17s back on it, and it still shakes like crazy. So I got different rotors that we're going to put on it, new pads and rotors for the rear, and hopefully that'll fix it. And I'm 99% sure we're going to test fit the 22s on it today, hopefully before the end of the day. So we'll see how that goes. It leaks out like overnight in three or four hours. Jonathan's going to try and fix my AC. Not today, but at some point. Got 22s mounted up, though. Oh boy, not the 22s on the Saturn. drove it back home last night and still shaking like crazy so I don't think it has anything to do with the spacers and I don't think it has anything to do with the wheels and tires in general I have now replaced the rear pads and rotors so next week I've got new rotors up here next week we're gonna do the rotors and redo the pads in the front as well and that's really other than maybe like a caliper stick and I feel like that's the only thing that could be an issue with this again I'm not the most mechanically inclined person in the world so I don't know hundred percent I'm just kind of trying to figure it out and the guys at the shop are definitely helping me but this is our 2000 Chevy Silverado 1500 with a uh, two inch drop shackle in the rear 22 inch split sixes and a 285 45 22 definitely rubs a little bit and I've, I'm wanting to lower this a lot more but it will come in due time like I said I got a couple things I need to fix on this I got new headlights and taillights that I want to put on this I definitely want to do some color match work on the front as well it's gonna need a new windshield but for the most part the truck itself is solid no check engine light on currently it's got 354,000 miles which obviously is a lot, that's a lot of miles, but the truck just has so much character to me. The only thing that I hate about this truck is I can't freaking stand that it's a long bed. I really, really, really wish that it was a short bed, but V6, two wheel drive, save me some gas. So I'm not driving the big silver truck with the red wheels all the time, the truck that you guys know on the channel. If you guys remember, I bought this truck for 300 bucks from Cadillac three or four years ago. My dad's had it ever since, and it's just super cool to have it back on the channel. First lowered, officially lowered build, even though you guys may not consider two inch drop shackles in the rear lowered but i will lower this truck more at some point so buying my first lowered truck for the channel is just something i've always wanted to do i've always wanted to lower a truck and i do still have the 20s so i'm gonna keep the 20s for now just as a set of rollers for that truck 17s are going back to him i'm gonna keep the 22s and then i'll have the 20s at the house just in case i ever need them for something but i did kind of like the 20s on this as well but just 22s on a single cab it just the fitment was perfect it just worked out great and i got them super cheap so shout out to mikey if you have been a subscriber to the channel for this long and you you remember the Saturn truck then I absolutely love you for being a subscriber of the channel for that long and I hope that you guys well obviously videos on this truck are gonna not come every other day obviously it's a daily I'm not gonna do too much to this but you guys know that in the coming weeks coming months I'm gonna try and put a lowering kit on this and then we're gonna be doing some interior stuff as well I want to change the speakers I just got other stuff that I want to do to the truck it's pretty clean obviously there's a couple things here and there seats a little messed up and it is the uh, what like the super base model version so it's got cloth seats it's got like the the liner on the floor so there's no carpet on the floor but it's just it's a super clean truck for what it is uh, power window uh, non-power windows so manual windows hum humble humbling myself a little bit by driving this every day throw my airpods in is what i'm having to do right now instead of listening to the radio because i'm not listening to the radio it's just i get, it's not it's not happening so i hope you guys are excited for the lower truck content let me let me know what you guys think of the truck in the comments below the new saturn lowered build on the channel nothing but excitement 
achievement for me. I love you guys. Thanks for always showing love. We just hit 60K. You guys are the best. And as always, let's get this bread, baby. Get this bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about.